North Star, the Sniper Titan. In my opinion, this is probably the most criminally underrated and underappreciated Titan uh, in all of Titanfall 2 so far. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and make a video about him first to really show him off uh, what he's good at, what he's not good at, and what are my opinions of him. So. Let's get started. First off is the Plasma Railgun. So this is pretty much exactly the same from Titanfall 1. If you played with it there, you know exactly how it works for Titanfall 2. Mechanically, nothing has changed. Uh, they have made a little bit of an improvement and that whenever you press your sprint button while aiming down sights with this uh, weapon, you can shift between aiming uh, like close range or far range, right? So you have a, a different toggle zoom level. So you see that little tooltip popping up on the screen there. I never actually took uh, advantage of it in any of the clips here, I don't believe. Uh, but in some of my other clips that I'm not actually going to post because, you know, I didn't use it actively, right? You can switch between zoomed in and zoomed out perspectives. And it's like pretty much what you would expect from Titanfall 1. So you have like the pre patch really far zoomed in version, and then you have the post patch not as far zoomed in version. So you can freely switch between the two. Um, it's, a, it's a change that people were asking for in Titanfall 1 for a long time and never really happened, uh, but it does exist this time around and feels absolutely fantastic. So for your defensive ability, you don't have any direct defensive abilities. This is definitely one of the weakest Titans in terms of defending itself. So you have to be smart with your positioning uh, in order to not get wrecked. But your defensive option is the Tether Trap, so you can drop that down on the ground and it will... Well turn the enemy titan that it traps into a uh, chain chomp, basically. So if you remember uh, Mario from the good old days, all the chain chomps that are sitting around, whenever your tether tra trap latches onto somebody, uh, they are just going to be stuck within that small radius. I think they can still move a bit, but they are uh, they are just locked into that radius and they can't move beyond that. There is a um, one of the titan kits that you can select will buff your tether trap, so you shoot two instead of one. So I would imagine that when you have two of them on a Titan, they are completely immobilized instead of still having a small range of motion. Um, that's my guess anyways. I never really used that um, that Titan kit to test it. You know, I only had a couple, like, maybe three three to four hours of actual hard gameplay time. Uh, so it's just one of those things that I didn't get to. So I'm not really sure how that works. Maybe one of the other YouTubers that have been at this event can uh, explain that a little further to you guys. But that's kind of my suspicion as to how it would work. Uh, cluster Missile is, you know, just good old Cluster Missiles, just like Titanfall 1. Uh, they seem to fly much straighter this time around. However, whenever you're firing them, you have to put your primary weapon away. So just like every other Titan in this game, uh, whenever you fire your ordnance, you pretty much ubiquitously, or unanimously, unanimously, have to put away your primary weapon. So... Same thing with Scorch, same thing with uh, Ion, same thing with Tone, just as examples. When you fire that, you know, your rocket salvo or your cluster missile or your, your firewall or whatever, got to put that primary away. So that's that's a little um, a little bad feeling for your uh, North Star players because you want to be aiming down sights pretty much constantly in order to keep that weapon charged up and ready to fire whenever you're ready to fire it. Um, and if it's not you know, fully charged, it feels bad to shoot a not charged up version. Here you see me using the Flight Core in an absolutely awful time. It's also the very first time I ever used Flight Core, so I didn't realize that I have to hold left click uh, in order to fire the rockets, not just press, uh, press my core ability button and then have it work. So there's that whole aspect. But uh, yeah, it's... Um it's it's really good feeling, right? And here here's another really good example uh, that I wanted to talk about. So North Star is made of like paper mache, right? So look at that really bad drop timing and drop location. I was like standing in the middle of like like two other Titans, and uh, they didn't quite kill me, luckily. But uh, before I could even do anything, I'm already set to like 20% life. I'm already very very weak. So you just have to pay very close attention to your positioning with this Titan. You have to um, you have to be aware of how how easy it is for you to die, and you have to play around that at all points in time. But uh, feels um, feels really good to, to outskill somebody and outmaneuver, outposition somebody, and be able to defeat them in a one-on-one -on -one fight while using such a, um, a physically weak Titan like this. Um, but yeah, a whole lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed this Titan. Um, I am excited to see how he turns out once more skilled players are, are sitting behind the controls and once more experienced players are sitting by the, behind the controls. I'm certainly hoping to be one of them once the game finally releases. But uh, for the short amount of time I had with him, he felt good, he felt important, he felt impactful, and I can't wait to see him in the final release um, once his true power level is actually revealed. Uh, one little quick note I wanted to make before I hop out of here, and it was just a cool little thing that uh, Drew McCoy had mentioned, um, 
and maybe some of you guys would appreciate it, is he feels like North Star is very, very reminiscent of like old Quake play, and that you have to be extremely knowledgeable of your map and your positioning on the map. Uh, so, like for example, if you're trying to snipe somebody, you have to know, you know, wherever you're standing. If I dash back and dash left, can I get behind a wall? Yes or no? And it's just really important for the Titan. I mean, I guess it's nothing like groundbreaking here. It's all pretty, um, pretty standard thoroughfare for uh, for any FPS game, right? But just an interesting note that I thought I would share with you guys that might be big fans, uh, might be a Titan for you guys to check out. But anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new. Hope you're as excited for North Star as I am. We'll see you next time with uh, what am I gonna do next? Let's do Legion next. How about Legion? We'll see you next time. Take care.